Webull just added one new incredible investment feature that puts it one step closer to competing with brokerages like M1 Finance, Robinhood. But now that investors with a lot more money are going to start to pour into their platform, the bigger question on my mind is, can we really trust them with a lot of money? And that's just my luck too, because I just made an M1 Finance Roth IRA account, and then Webull decides to enter the chat and make one on their platform as well. Do you guys ever watch Dumb and Dumber? Because this is how I feel right now. Maybe you should wear these extra gloves. My hands are starting to get sweaty. You've had this pair of extra gloves this whole time? Yeah, we're in the Rockies. Okay, let's first get something out of the way. This is not a paid or a promotional advertisement by Webull or anyone else because I refuse to be a paid corporate mouthpiece unless I'm being bribed with a ton of money and that offer still hasn't come through. But it does present itself with an opportunity to talk to you about some relevant content today. So that's what we're gonna do. I think I have Tourette's. But the more important question for this video is, can we trust Webull with more money? Because they just recently added a new feature to be able to create and invest in individual retirement accounts. That's your Roth IRAs and your traditional IRAs. That appeals to long-term investors like myself, and those guys, generally speaking, have a lot more money. So can we trust Webull with a lot more money? They've been great for things like day trading, but this is something different, and they are incentivizing people with so many perks and so much money, it's not even funny. Check this out. They're offering to cover your transfer fees up to $100. So if I wanted to move from M1 Finance to Webull, I would have to pay something like $75 to do what's called the ACATS transfer, which is the Automated Customer Account Transfer Service. Now, this is a way better way of doing that rather than selling all of my stocks on M1 Finance and then rebuying them on a different platform because that would totally screw up your tax situation. So instead of doing that, you could do the ACATS transfer transfer, but you'd have to pay something like $75, which Webull's like, nah fam, we got you covered. But my question is, where is Webull getting all of this money from? So naturally, I did some digging to find out. Happy Friday, lovely people. My name is, has been, and always will be Andre Jick, and I have read some concerns expressing the fact that Webull is a Chinese company. And because of that, can we really trust them with our hard-earned money? And where are they getting all of this money from to pay for all of these incentives and all these gift cards and all these free stocks? I think these are all great and legitimate questions to explore, but I do wanna remind you this is not a paid or a promotional advertisement by Webull. I'm not gonna ask for your money. I'm not going to ask you to sign up to any accounts today. Nothing like that. I do want you to know exactly where your money is going and to which brokerage and how they're operating. So let's begin. Doing some research, it was hard to find any information about Webull, but that is because it's actually the brokerage part of a bigger company called Fumi Information Technology Co., which is not a public company. It was actually established pretty recently in 2016 from several rounds of angel funding. They received a lot of money. To understand just how much money they received, I think it's important to have a little bit of a context to see the different types of rounds of funding that companies go through to help raise money. The first round of funding is called seed funding. Sometimes it's also called pre-seed, but seed funding is money a company needs to raise to start product development and research. In this round of seed funding, a company will generally raise anywhere between five to two million dollars for its startup costs from people that are generally known as angel investors. Now, almost immediately after this round of funding, a company's valuation will jump from anywhere between three to six million dollars, even though it may not have three to six million dollars, it may not even be making any profit just yet, but it's the idea and the speculation of what this business could become, which is what makes it more valuable. Webull raised not half a million to two million dollars, they raised 50 million yuan, or seven and a half million dollars, which is still three times more than the average seed funding raised. And all of it came from Xiaomi, which is the giant electronics company you guys might have heard of if you watch any of MKBHD's phone reviews. And this is the electronic tech giant that's making some really cool smartphones. The next round of funding is called Series A funding. This is where things get interesting. Once a startup makes it past this point, it's usually because they're gaining some success. And the company still doesn't even have to be making any money at this point. It could just be wildly popular and have a lot of users and collect 
a ton of data. And as you guys know by now, I'm sure, data is the new oil of the future. Now at this point in time, most companies will fail. In fact, this is known as the Series A crunch, this phenomenon where 46% of startups will actually fail to get any A Series funding at all. That's actually still less than most, 46% is less than half, but the typical valuation after Series A funding is anywhere between 10 to $15 million. Remember, that's not the money they raise, that's the valuation which is much higher. Webull raised 100 million yuan, or $14.5 million in May of 2017, which puts their valuation at substantially more than combining the last two totals I just mentioned. And these are their investors on the side right here, whose names I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce, but if you wanna do more research about them, have fun, that is who they are. The next phase is Series B funding. It's called the expansion. It is my purpose. It is now yours as well. Sorry, that was, that was my ego talking. Smash the like button if you got the reference though. At this point in time, the company will raise money to expand its influence both inside and outside the company. They will usually hire more employees and start to push a lot harder on promoting their company and services. Which is why right now, Weeble is able to do this. GE. 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 GE again. Oh, what do you know? As of right now, the acronym for GE is good enough. <laughs> GE, GE, GE. Never feel sorry for a guy earning $9 per second. <laughs> but this is precisely how Weeble is able to make me the new CEO of GE. Thank you, Weeble. For Series B funding, Weeble raised an additional 200 million yuan, or approximately $30 million. But okay, that's fine and all. We can conclude that, sure, they have a lot of money, but what good is all of that free stock and all of that free money if they just go out of business and disappear back to China? What happens to all of our IRA accounts, our taxable accounts, our stocks? What then? Now here's the good news. Webull is heavily regulated by FINRA, which is extremely strict, and we're also covered and protected as investors under SIPC insurance. Now this covers us as investors up to half a million dollars of cash and stock, of which up to $250,000 of that money can be recovered in cash. They also use the Apex Clearinghouse, which is extremely reputable, and it's the same one that Rob Robinhood used to use for many years before they switched to their own clearinghouse. Now, of course, if we do go through this claim process to get our stocks back in case Webull disappears and goes to China, it is going to take us between one to three months, sometimes even longer, depending on the process, to recover our stuff back. But it is good to know that if the worst was to happen, we will eventually get our money back because we're insured. Even though they are a Chinese company, Webull has an office in New York City with about 11 employees alongside the CEO of Webull, Anthony Denaire. But how is Webull making its money if it's free to buy and sell stocks? Well, they make their money four different ways. Number one, they make money off of payment order flows. The second way they make money is letting short sellers borrow the stocks that are in our portfolio. The third way they make money is generating the interest based on the uninvested cash that's sitting in our accounts. And the fourth way they make money is off the margin lending accounts. Now their business model is focused on onboarding as many people as possible with the $1,000 net worth and under rather than focusing on fewer people with a higher net worth. This allows them to onboard as many people as possible and grow their business with beginners much quicker. By the way, all brokerages make their money with these four methods. So Webull is not the only unique one of making their money this way. However, Robinhood did announce this feature where our uninvested cash is able to generate interest and money for us. So if Webull wants to attract the attention of long-term investors like myself, in order to keep them there, Webull absolutely needs to be competitive. They should make this one available pretty soon. In fact, out of curiosity, I did sign myself up to a traditional IRA account where I found some pretty interesting stuff. Take a look. How to opening an IRA on Webull? Question mark. How to opening an IRA on Webull? I'll try this again. I'll make more sense for you. This is perfect. Watch. How to opening an IRA on Webull? I Russian. I I have no correct grammatic. See, that makes way more sense. Here, I'll find another one though. In the how to contribute to, to your IRA, for wire transfer, you need to go to the wire transfer page of Webull app. 
Is it of the Weibo app? For wire transfer, you need to go to the wire transfer page of Weibo app. Everything just makes more sense with the Russian accent. You know what? We should just start like a, like a bounty program where we find all these errors and then they'll give us some free stocks for it. I say this completely unironically knowing that I make mistakes in my videos all the time. I misspell something or I misquote or I say something where someone inevitably will correct me in every one of my videos. So I say this knowingly where I put it back out into the universe to make myself feel better. And with this $10,000, I'm going to put it all on Tesla. Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go buy myself a Tesla. No, I'm not gonna do that either. I can't afford a $10,000 Tesla, that makes no sense. Should I invest it into dividend stocks? Should I max out my Roth IRA for next year? Should I max out my traditional IRA for next year? Or maybe I should open up a SEP IRA for this year and lower my tax burden from all these free stocks. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. Or maybe I should go buy myself a jacket that actually keeps me warm. The Zara jacket this is cool, stylish, but does, it's not at all functional and it doesn't really help at all. It's 30 degrees in Vegas outside, it's freezing. Guys, I'll see you guys all on Monday. Let's get it.